Hello Darts Nuts, welcome to Darts Review Channel. In this video I'm reviewing the Bit of Bully Force Darts and as I've mentioned before, Bit of Bully got the rights to produce the Showtime Darts range. Um, I never reviewed these ones un under the Showtime label so I'm interested to check them out. Quite a sleek looking barrel, so let's check them out. So I'm reviewing the 24 gram version, the 90% tungsten, they're also available in 22 and 26 gram in steel tip but there is no soft tip and they retail for £32.95. So the darts come in the bit of bully cardboard packaging, inside you've got a foam tray holding everything in place, doesn't want to come out, here we go. Nice sleeper looking dart and they come supplied with the short alloy stems and the bit of bully standard shape flights. So the darts fit with a silver point and really I don't know what kind of dart shape you describe that as. It's kind of like a hourglass. You've got quite a long tapered and slightly chunky front section and then you got a very thin pinched in waist big kind of scallop section there and then what looks like a parallel section and then it goes thinner on the very end of the barrel so fairly unusual shape but a very uh, sleek looking dart and there's the short alloy black stems and the standard shape bit of bully flights so as you can see it's fitted with a silver point, you've got a tapered front section, mix of rings and grooves, some very fine rings and the painted grooves and you've got the bit of, bit of bully logo and then you've got this kind of a scalloped section with a very fine micro style grip and then as you get towards the end it's a shark style grip. So quite an interesting barrel and then just a smooth section on the very end. So there you go, that's the super close look at the bit of bully force darts. So the darts fit with a silver 26mm point, there's a tapered section with a fairly wide groove that's 11.8 millimeters and then you've got a parallel section with some very thin rings and grooves that's 7.1 millimeters a smooth section with the bit of bully logo that's five millimeters and then you've got this scallop section with a very fine micro or nano grip that's 12 millimeters on the rear it's a parallel straight section with a mini shark style grip that's 13.1 millimeters and then you kind of got a step down smooth section of four millimeters length is 53 millimeters with this 6.8 millimeters Twenty four grams exactly, twenty four point zero six grams, and twenty four point zero eight grams. Full setup, twenty six grams. Here's the balance with nothing attached, and with the supplied setup. And this is the balance with medium in between short nylon stems and standard flights. So quite a mix of grip levels here. At the front it's low to a medium level grip. Around the middle just kind of like a low medium but the scallop kind of acts like a grip itself. And obviously the grippiest part is the rear section so 7 at most. Treble one champion. <laughs> I'll have to move again. <laughs> Knees hurting. Oh. <clears throat> Damn it, why is that hurting? Treble five champion now. Changed my mind. Don't like the treble one anymore. <laughs> 
Oh, uh, kind of has a, a very light feel to the darts. It may be to do with the balance. Like, it is quite an unusual shape. Um, I'm holding it on the red rings. I'm not always a big fan of a taper. Um, so, just keeping hold of the red rings. But, uh, not flying too bad through the air. A little bit on the long side for me. And, like I say, I'm a front gripper, but the balance is not too bad at all, actually. Maybe that scallop in the middle is kind of affecting that. Yeah, oh, I didn't get no trebles there, but uh, starting to get the feel of it there. Could do with a little bit more grip though, but mm, that's quite a nice feel to it. But like I say, it, it's a 24 gram barrel, but it, it feels as if it's around 20 gram, but it could be because of the way that scallop is and it's putting all the weight towards the front. Right, let's see what it's like from that middle scallop. Um, I think it is spot in the middle. It's hard to be sure until I measure it, which I haven't done properly yet. I know you've already seen that bit, but I haven't come around to that bit. Mm. Now the first two, just kind of getting used to it there. So I wasn't getting a, a very clean release, but on the last one when I got the nice clean release, it flew quite nice, but it's just a very fine micro grip there. And it's not a super deep scallop, but you can definitely feel it. So if you're a middle gripper and you're into your scallop darts, then it doesn't feel too bad at all. Oh, and we're all nicely grouped there, so that shows it's got some potential, I guess. <laughs> I can't get over how light it feels. It's kind of strange that. Even from the middle, it's feeling really light. It's definitely 24 gram. And I've already weighed it, so yeah, <laughs> just double checking. Ah, oh, treble one. Treble one champion. <laughs> Oh, treble five champion instead now. <laughs> there you go. From the middle, quite pleasant feeling dart there. I'm um, not always into my scallops because I do have problems with my release due to my nerve and old injuries, but it does feel quite nice there. So on the rear section now, which is a kind of a shark style grip, and it's almost like you're feeling a different dart again. Quite a, a unique feeling dart overall. Oh, I nearly got trouble one again. <laughs> I definitely like the feel of the rear section better. It's something to grab hold of. And uh, it's like I say, oh, it's almost like three darts in one. You've got a tapered dart. Well, maybe you could class that as four, I suppose, but tapered with a straight part scallop and then another straight part. But even people who like to grip right at the end of the barrel, because it's got that kind of a lip there, you've got something to push against, but quite a unique overall design, I suppose. Oh, I'm not a natural rear gripper, you know. <laughs> Don't know how that got in. Oof, nearly got another one. Oh, there you go, that proves it. That proves it. I think I just lost concentration on the last one, but. Yeah, so if you're a rear gripper and you like a fair bit of grip, it's not massively grippy there, it's just got a nice feel, but I just can't get over the old art. It just has a very light feel to it. Right, here we go, completely off now. Ooh. But yeah, interesting dart and one that could definitely work 
for front, middle and rear grips. There's a little bit of something for every grip style there. So yeah, very interesting that. Right, there you go, that's the bit of bully force 24 gram darts, quite an unusual dart, a little bit on the long side for me, uh, but it's certainly a very interesting dart, flies better from the front than I was expecting it to be for me, I'm not always a fan of a taper but obviously I was gripping it on the, the red rings which is pretty much straight there, but quite nice from that middle section the scallop and for rear grippers nice level of grip on the rear and actually feels better for me on the rear section because it's slightly chunkier and a straight forward style but i think it's a dart that's got a bit of something for every kind of grip really so it's almost like three or four darts in one but like i say it's slightly unusual but very interesting but quite a nice looking dart as well and like i said before these are like the um kind of resurrection of the old showtime darts which bit of bully have bought the rights to produce so it's nice that they're keeping them alive so if you fancy a set i'll put the link up uh, to the bit of bully shop in the description so you can check it all out so i'll leave you with the gallery so you can have a closer look if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet please do so and i'll see you on the next one happy darting